shoes. I can't wear my, my shoes. My feet don't fit in my shoes right now. They're so swollen. Gout props. <clears throat> That's going to be Brooks in the red. Heflin in the blue. And Sammy Brooks, man, I mean, he never really came close to winning a title at college, I don't believe, but he's really putting it together in freestyle. He's had some really good wins, really good performances. And he's always, you know, out of Illinois, he was always a, one of the top freestyler Greco guys. I think he maybe doubled up in Fargo once or twice. Um, very highly rated recruit coming out of high school. And had a very fine career at Iowa, but really turning it on on the senior level lately against Nick Heflin. Nick Heflin, is he a finalist for Ohio State? Didn't he lose to Jaden? I believe so. I think Jaden Cox beat him. That was a year after Heflin moved from 74 to 97. Yeah, yeah. And Heflin at Titan Mercury Wrestling Club in the corner for him. So Oklahoma staff Kyle Leitner and Lou Roselli and Michael Leitner. Michael Leitner, what did I say? Kyle, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I misheard you. I might have said Kyle Leitner. Kyle Leitner is a recruit, a Rutgers recruit. Okay, I bet you just got your wires crossed upstairs. That yeah, happens sometimes. But Michael Especially Leitner. Especially if you have gout. <laughs> On the shot clock is Sammy Brooks. Ryan Morningstar. Mark Perry in the corner for Sammy. Three out of the four coaches wearing hats. Interesting stat. Actually, not that interesting. Lou always wears a hat. One for Heflin on a shot clock. And Brooks working with a wrist lock. Some kind of tie there. Action, they're saying to Heflin, and of course, you know, with a 1-0 match and Sammy Brooks not really, not really being passive. I mean, that was basically one of those, we have to do something, we have to put somebody on the clock. Um, they're gonna start warning Heflin if there's no scoring. Sammy Brooks really digging that head in the chest of Heflin. Heflin holding good position. Heflin looks like one of those guys that's like just strong as an ox. Like, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super strong. I think he enjoys the weight room, enjoys lifting weights, you know. I bet you Heflin could be a good fighter. Yeah. Actually, I bet you're right. So not very eventful in the first period. Just a shot clock point that went Heflin's way. And we'll definitely see Heflin... Um, be on a short leash with the officials yeah. in this second period. And then we see Rutgers final X again. It's gonna be awesome at the at the rack. Ticket sales are already good and we know that the Jersey fans show out. Oh man. We went to at least one, me and you and I went to two or three matches at Rutgers this year. Yeah. And uh, they're fun. And it's like rowdy. Yeah, and they're 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 not shy to say what they think. Yeah, or, or and then some. Double unders, or excuse me, double overs for Heflin. He loves his position. Yeah, he can throw. And he's really jacking it up with just that one now, but Brooks pummels out of it. And Brooks looking for a near snatch single. They're gonna put Heflin on the clock if there's no score here. He steps behind. Brooks got behind for briefly behind that leg. He still made it in. As you said, Willie, shot clock. Against Brooks. Heflin this time. Against Heflin, that's what I said. <laughs> Bader, is my niece watching? Uh, yes. Actually, my daughter is watching. I got a picture of her on her phone. Will you check that out? Does, does Bella Bader have any particular favorites? Nope. She just likes good wrestling. <laughs> Sammy Brooks in good position here. Of course, he could let the shot clock expire. Oh, that's going to be one. Oh, was that the shot clock? 
not the. I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure. Because I thought he showed grounded. I thought he put his hand like he was grounded. I think he did. I don't know what the point was for. I, 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 I don't know. It was simultaneous. Now, I think. Either way, it's a one point, so it doesn't matter. There's no caution on right with, right. The, with the shot clock violation anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Now they're mixing it up a little bit more. Just half a period to go, though. 1-1, one, one, and what's the call here? Just action. There's a shot from Heflin, but misses. Into a body lock, and he has one trap. He's good, yeah, yeah, he's Watch a good shot. Watch for the shape. outside trip. Oh, he's oh, going to hit the turn. There it's going to be four, four confirmed. So Heflin's going to go up. 5-1 with a minute to go. He is scary when he gets to those locks or when he gets no. to those upper body positions by Heflin. That's his bread and butter, wouldn't you say? Yep. That and chest wraps. Yep. Brooks getting to position here. All the way behind the hips. Can he throw a leg in with the right leg maybe? A heavy wizard by Heflin. Trying to stay hip to hip. Great job. Keeping out of trouble there by Heflin. 40 seconds to go. Sammy's digging and pushing and trying to get that at least one. And he did. They're going to get two. They'll give the continuation for a two, and it's a 5 3 match. We got a match. 30 seconds to go. Takedown ties it, but Heflin would still be up because he got the four point throw. So Sammy Brooks needs to get up to six points or more. Oh. Chance Marcel just put Davis through the mat. I'm going to stop it. They're going to say, Heflin, you need to stay in the middle. Sammy Brooks said, I want to start wrestling before <laughs> the referee want me to. And the referee said, stop again. Brooks sprinting now. He needs three points. And Heflin's going to hold on. 5-3 for Nick Heflin, who will go to the finals. And he will be awaiting his opponent. Because we're a little farther ahead on this mat than on mat two. So check out our little replay here. There's that. I thought he was going to go outside.